Hey guys, and I'm Nat from Bowen Australia, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how we're living off grid. Okay, so first off, what is a Blue Eddy? A Blue Eddy is a portable power pack and it is a lithium iron core phosphate battery. It is one of the safest, most effective batteries out there and has a life cycle of 3,000 to 4,000 discharges, where the normal acid batteries are only having about 300 to 400 discharges. This thing has 14 um, points to charge on. You have four 240 pots. You've got two wireless chargers. These are perfect for your phone, so you can just set them on. And you have all your DC and 100 amp batteries, USB ports across the front here. It has a easy screen, touch screen, so it is one touch on. There's no pulsating or fuels. And it's just a LCD screen. And then you have all your starter and turning your DC on and your AC on for your output. That is the most important thing to remember. If you have any faults or alarms, it's easy to go through the control panel. And then it's as simple as just turning one button off to turn it off. So to power this Blue Eddy to via charging, you can either charge via the 24 volt AC adapter or you can do AC and solar at the same time. That will give you a lot faster charge, about three and a half hours. We've done a little test video to show you, and we've done it overnight where it was raining, there was cloud cover the night before, and so it essentially didn't get charged the next morning. I didn't put it on charge till eight o'clock, and by one o'clock it was fully charged. We had a Honda generator too, and it would not even run our microwave. Where the Blue Radio is turned on now, it's the same price as what a generator is, and it can actually run our microwave where the Honda generator wouldn't. So we've got the Blue Eddy making all the PowerPoints work, or even turn the TV on in here. Um, all the kids' PowerPoints work. I'll turn the microwave on to show that it actually works. And if we have a look at the Blue Eddy now, you should see that it uses a lot of power. It uses about 1500 watts, I think. So the microwave is finished and still running the TV at the same time. So in regards to the fridge though, they recommend not running this off any generators or your battery system because it draws a lot of power. So basically we got told that when you're driving, have it on your DC to DC car and as soon as you stopped, make sure you put it onto gas as it just, um, just draws too much on all batteries and the Blue Eddy. Um, our Blue Eddy does start the aircon as well. You'd probably only get about an hour out of running the aircon. Yep. And on uh, the trip we had last year called The Journey, which you'll see more um, videos of that to come, we were using this every single day. And we would just use this to run the fridge, power two fans overnight, and charge all our hunting and camera equipment using about 40 to 50 percent overnight what we uh, basically did is we'd have this set up hooked up to a power pack to our um you know camp and have the solar panels set up so that as soon as the morning sun come up before we were even up it was started charging and by lunch i was fully charged so basically we didn't have to touch this at all it's just self-sufficient and it is a pure sine wave inverter and we run our caravan off it now it has saved us about five thousand dollars by having to not change out the whole battery system to change into a lithium battery system. Um, it basically is only got the batteries that are in there with the 220 watts to run the lights, essentially. Not to mention with the price of fuel today, saving us like $25 a day because to run the generator, um, turning it on and off and uh, running to charge things, it would be using about 10 litres in a 3.5 uh, inverter generator that we got. Uh, when we were also camping last year we were even stopping at caravan parks and we could get unpowered sites because we had a silent generator where we can run anywhere. We have it right next to camp, there's no smoke emissions, no noise.
basically it is just literally a silent generator. Um, I don't think we'd pretty much camp without this because it's too effective to have clean power and where we go in remote locations sometimes fuel spaces for us are about 600 kilometers so if we run out of fuel we're buggered where this thing you just got to have some solar panels you can have up to 700 watts of um, external solar power onto this and you can buy the solar blanket extensions and an actual uh, another power pack that will join onto this as well so you can actually get a bundle with the power pack and the solar panels so check out the blue ID website and I think at the moment they have a sale going on and we'll put a coupon code and link in our description below so also we're going to talk about the warranty it has a two-year warranty and when you have one of these you have a lifetime of support on their website so if you have any dramas you can get onto them and uh, contact them. In comparison to taking this around compared to a 3.5 angle generator that which we have to have just to run the microwave when this van, it is a lot lighter. I think it's 26 kilos and I'm a pretty small person and I can lift this, no worries. So it's easy to carry, easy to port. It's essentially, yeah, the best portable silent generator you can get. But yeah, thanks so much for, you know, tuning in to see how we're living off grid and we will be giving you more information on these in throughout the series as, um, yeah, we've used it on the whole series of the journey. But yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Twenty-four volt. Two forty. Two forty. It is saving us at least. How much? Do you reckon? Oh, ten dollars a, so a day. Ten dollars. No, it was that's ten liters a day. Yeah, just say. say Twenty dollars a day. Twenty-five dollars. Missing it last year when we took it on our trip last year off grid series. Actually, they would have been from that. Um, the journey. Yep.